Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Van, just going for a little walk this morning. We're very excited. We're in beautiful Hecla Island in northern Manitoba, about uh, three hours from Winnipeg. Beautiful, beautiful area. We call these the inland lake areas as we have Lake Manitoba and Lake Winnipeg in this area. But the more important thing today, we're going to be talking about the 2022 Unity MB, I like to call it the world famous MB. We were the first ones to build it and we build it the best. So I'm very excited to show you. If you're looking for a small motorhome, 25 feet, one inch long, 10, seven high, seven, 10 wide, big, big storage. And of course the world famous big Murphy bed, huge bathroom. I mean, this thing has got everything you could want in a small motorhome, take it anywhere in North America. I can't wait to show it to you. Hey, come on in, let's have a look at this baby. Hey, welcome inside the 2022 Unity MB, the world famous Unity MB, that's what I like to say. And this is fun. These have the optional Leisure Lounge Plus chairs. Look at this, built-in armrest, just a chilling. And you can turn them at different angles. This one we're gonna turn it at a, what, a 45 degree angle. You got power footrests. Oh, I like that. Place here, wanna have a cup of coffee. Little table here. Both chairs actually turn and swivel. Plus they turn and swivel and make into a dinette area. It's actually very, very unique. We've got a light switch here for your upper lights in your slide out. And we have uh, USB charging ports built into this chair as well. And they also become the base for the Murphy bed. So leisure lounge plus chairs, great option to have on Unity Murphy beds. So standard on Unity Murphy bed is our leisure lounge, which is a sofa area, also turns into a dinette area and then becomes the base for the bed as well. Okay, this is a fabulous living area. It becomes a dining room area, becomes a bed at night, but I like this part, look at this. We have our TV, we got Top Gun on. Tom Cruise, absolutely beautiful. Hey, you know what, I wanna see it up high. Look at that, okay, I can see it high. 40 inch smart TV and the driver passenger seats turn and swivel. We can just swivel the TV and we can watch it from the driver passenger seats. Now that is smart. And we've got a smart Blu-ray player also. And to complete your cinema experience, we have a sound bar, Bluetooth streaming. Plus we have a subwoofer down here so you can hear those F-18s flying through the air. Well, from a beautiful living room area, let's have something to eat so I can just very simply turn the chairs and I can make this into a beautiful dining room area. And the table just pops down. Look at this. Time for dinner. Okay, from a dinette area, now we wanna go to bed at night. Very simple. Hair goes up, by the way, that table's great as a computer desk or for, uh, you know, playing card games. Once again, these can turn at a 45. I love how versatile this area is. Turns as well. So now we're back to a uh, living room area. We can just take these off. I usually just put them right there. Look how fast, we're doing this in real time to see how long does it take to make the bed. People always question that. Look at this, this is pretty darn quick. Release the two safety locks, look at this. Here comes the bed. How simple is that? 68 inches wide, 76 inches long. Can I still do this after 10 years, 12 years? Yes, I can. I still got the vertical. So from a nice big bed area, I can actually built in headrest, do some work on my laptop or my computer. We've got a beautiful awning style window with a nightshade on it, built in reading lights. I mean, this is absolutely fabulous. Lots of room, lots of space. We've got charging plugs on the side here, USB plugs. I have an inverted plug over here as well. So if you have a sleep apnea machine, you can plug that in. You can charge your phone at night, you can work on your laptop. And you know what? I can still watch TV. Hello, Mr. Tom Cruise and Top Gun. I think one of the great things about the Unity Murphy bed is you have a full walk around bed. Look at this. I can walk around the bed all the way if I wanna to go to the kitchen or to the bathroom at night. So full walk around, that's very important. Look at this, you can even moonwalk around back into bed. Plus we get this question lots, can you have the Murphy bed down with the slide out in? So all you have to do is have the slide out a little bit, put the bed down and then push the bed back in. Now I've still got a full 68 inch by 76 inch bed. 
So if you stop at a truck stop or something, you're not allowed to have your slide outs or Walmart and you wanna go to sleep at night, you can. As you can see, the bed is fully out. Okay, to move your bed back up, make sure your significant other is out of the bed, <laughs> unless you're mad at them and uh, they wanna go for a ride. We have a new mechanism here, just push that and look at this, up she goes, done. Now we also get another question, they go, hey, what happens when the slide out is in, can I still use the motor home? Absolutely, I wanna pull over, wanna have something to eat, so bring the slide out back in, you can still fully use the motor home. Let's say you wanna stop, you're at a roadside place, you wanna have something to eat, okay, so then we're just gonna turn the chairs, right, just like this, and we're gonna bring the table down, and look at this, I got a full dinette area. Ooh, forgot to do this one, sorry. Got a full dinette area to eat and I can still walk around. I can get into the refrigerator, look at this. We're gonna have some lunch, we're gonna make a snack over here in the galley. And then I can sit down, have something to eat over here. So fully functional slide out, out or slide out in. Okay, you can see how the Mercedes-Benz seats turn and swivel, become part of the motorhome, and you don't hit your head, which is kind of nice. And we have a nice little optional front table if somebody was still sleeping in early in the morning and you wanna have a coffee or you wanna work on your computer, why not? It's right here. We got a nice little table, look at this. Sit back, I can relax. I can use it as a laptop table, use it as a work desk. Good, smart little option to have on the Murphy bed front optional table. Another nice feature on the Mercedes-Benz is you can extend the, for us long-legged people, that's kind of nice and comfortable. So up above here, we've got a nice little storage area. Look at this beautiful curved door. Nice optional safe, great for keeping your passport and valuables in there. We also have our front curtain for our blind that goes around the windshield, so you have privacy at night. That all goes in there. Storage over here. Over on this side, we have a new option. We have rigid solar panels, either 200 watts or 400 watts, and this is where the controller panel is. Talk a little bit about this, our little hanging closet as well. It's where we keep our leg for our front table. Storage down below here, great for your shoes. And then look up above here, we've got LED lights in the ceiling, ducted air conditioning, 15,000 B2 air conditioner with a heat pump, so that'll run off your 30 amp service or off your generator. And we've got our skylight. Beautiful opening skylight. Lots of nice, beautiful, fresh air. Have some mosquitoes, yes. Want some sunshine out of the way, or at nighttime when you go to bed at night, you wanna bring this across and that'll give you a nice dark out inside the motorhome. Okay, so as you come into the motorhome, you can leave your shoes underneath the step here, and we also have our batteries in here, so standard is AGM batteries, optional lithium batteries. I love the screen door. We've got some bracing in here, so if you have pets, they're not gonna go through the screen door, and it keeps uh, some fresh air coming through, keeps the bugs out. We have our battery disconnect switch here. We have our switches for the outside. We have all of our lights on the inside. They actually have a built-in dimmer switch as well. As we work our way up here, we've got a nice little shade here at nighttime. Once again, when you go to sleep at night, you can uh, lock it in place there. And above here is our service center. So optional four point hydraulic leveling jacks. Great little option to have. They automatically level the coach. This model that we're in right now, this Murphy bed has got the optional lithium batteries. And what we do is we heat, have heat pads on the lithium batteries to keep them nice and warm. Lithium batteries don't like to charge or take a charge below 36 degree Fahrenheit. So if it's a cooler night like we had last night, I would just turn that on and keep those lithium batteries nice and warm. When you order that option, you have 200 amps of lithium battery and we invert the microwave. So if you wanna run your microwave while you're dry camping and not turn on your generator, I suggest that you order the lithium battery option and we invert the microwave. As we work our way next here, this is our switch for our slide out. So always be looking at the slide out when it's coming in and out, that's important. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So we have a couple different settings on here. Comfort Plus, that keeps the one liter hot water hot all the time. If you leave it on eco, it does not heat that. There's also a couple other positions here. One is called clean. Don't put it on clean unless you wanna clean the hot water tank because it does take about an hour Hour and a half. As we work our way down, we've got our control system for our tanks. As you can see, our batteries are fully charged. Fresh water tank is empty, gray is empty, black is empty, and propane is about 40% full. And this is where you can turn on your water pump. As we work our way down, this particular model that we're in has an optional diesel generator, so you would turn it on here. You can go 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator, or you can go 
a 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. If you order the propane generator, you have auto gen start, which you can use to set the motorhome up. If you have pets in the motorhome, you want the air conditioner to come on because it, it gets too hot in the motorhome, it'll automatically do it. With the auto gen start, you can also set it by time. You can set it for low batteries, lots of great features with auto gen start, and that comes with the propane optional generator. Over here we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. You turn that on right here and that will invert your uh, battery power into 120 volt power. Okay, we're just above the TV, the pop-up TV area, beautiful awning style window. We have uh, day shades and we have night shade and you'll see that they lock into place right here, look at that. So you can have the windows open and the shade's not gonna slap around, I really like that. But up above here, look at this, beautiful curved upper cabinets. We have uh, European hidden hinges. We actually have soft clothes on them too. Look at that. And then over on this side, if you happen to order the optional T4 Weingard satellite dish, you would turn it on right here. And over here up on the roof, we also have the 2.0 Weingard Wi-Fi booster with 4G capability. And it's also a TV antenna. So you would turn that on right there. You can see the green lights come on. I know that it's, that it's on. Hey, let's talk about some interior colors. This is brand new for 2022 on Unity models. We have cashmere or natural rift. We also offer maple and espresso. We also offer Fenix white upper cabinets. For countertops, we have two different countertops, Antarctica white, and this is called concrete. And when you look at our ultra leather, this is earth. We also have mountain and fog. So you have many ways to personalize your Unity MB exactly the way you want it. This is your kind of residential style thermostat. So you can turn on your furnace, you can turn on your 15,000 BTU air conditioning, and that's all controlled right here, just like you would uh, at home. You'd set your temperature and you're set to go. And just above the galley area, we have a fantastic fan for cooking, so you can set the uh, temperature setting, and then you can set the speed you want on the fan, open it right up, and then set your speed, and on it comes. Okay, we're now in the galley area, beautiful upper, cabinets here, you got a place here for cups, nice big deep galley area, remember we always want to check that, how deep are the cabinets, I always like to use the microwave plate, this will tell you if they fit or not, look at that, fits no problem, once again soft close, and look at what, LED lights underneath the cabinets, nice big galley area, accessory channel, paper towel holder, places here for spices, this is our concrete color, solid Korean countertop, very nice deep stainless steel sink, Absolutely love that chrome faucet. We have a nice window here, but once again, daytime, nighttime shades all built right in. Little garbage can here. A lot of people use this as an ice bucket and they'll keep their drinks cool in there. So you can use it for multiple things. We have an inverted plug. So if you have a coffee maker, you can turn on your inverter. You can brew a little coffee in the morning without starting your generator. Stainless steel backsplash, two burner spark ignition stove. So that'll fire right up. Make sure you have it off before you uh, close the glass lid. This is also is a splash guard, very smart. And then we have our beautiful drawers here. Once again, open all the way up. Full water filtration on all of our Unity models. And once again, we have soft close, look at that. Soft close and soft close. And underneath here, more storage and easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. And you're gonna love this feature counter extension absolutely fantastic so you can have a little more counter space when you're cooking i think uh, mr ramsey would be very proud of this little galley area over on this side we have our convection microwave so it's not only a microwave it's also an oven and if you order the lithium battery option it's inverted as well and then let's talk about this beautiful fridge this is a three-way fridge so it runs on 120 volt it runs on propane and on 12 volt power so a three-way fridge if you have no battery power and you have a 110 or a 120 electrical fridge, you have no fridge. So we have propane, we have 120 volt and 12 volt power. Cool thing about this fridge, look at this, separate freezer, separate fridge, right? Very nice. Or I can open it this way as well. So if I'm in the galley, I need to grab something. Very good. So the other big thing too is our pantry, pull out pantry. Look at this. Now this is a pull out pantry. Nice big pull-out pantry, locks in place, you don't have to worry about it coming open when you're driving down the road. So that is the galley on the MB. So I'd like to invite you into the lavatory bathroom, but I just wanna show you this first. This is our beautiful pocket door. 
blocks off the bathroom from the entire motorhome. Okay, the Unity MB has got one big, dry, residential bathroom. I've had red bathrooms that were way smaller than this. But look at the size of this bathroom. Glass shower doors. Look at that nice, big, stand-up shower. Got a place here for your towels, drip dry your bathing suits, even clothing. But you can see how beautiful is LED lights. We have a nice shower head here. We've got a little diverter here to control the water flow. So in case you're dry camping and you want to save water, place here for your towels, handle for getting in and out, but you can see how big it is. I mean, I could shower just in this spot. Look how much room we have. So nice, big stand-up shower in the Murphy bed. Okay, we also have a China toilet here for uh, your toilet, which is very nice. Also have a, it's not a bidet, some people think it is, but that cleans your toilet bowl, which is quite nice. Up here we have our medicine cabinet. So a nice big medicine cabinet, place here to hang your, your towels. Plus we have some hooks here for your robe and we got a full dressing mirror for getting dressed in the morning. Once again, we got the logo clothing on. We have a great leisure travel van store, www.leisurevans.com. You can buy leisure gear, cups, hats, lots of great things. So when you're RVing in a leisure, you can be dressed in leisure clothing. And we also have a 12 volt fantastic fan right here. We can just open it up and look at that. Lots of fresh air, 12 inch fan. It's gonna suck out all the air out of the bathroom. So we're over in the vanity area. Not only does the Murphy bed have one medicine cabinet, it's got two medicine cabinets. Look at that, beautiful medicine cabinet. Solid countertop, once again, done in concrete. We have a GFI plug right there. We also have an accessory channel right here. Great place for your toothpaste, toothbrushes, soaps. Down below, more storage space. Once again, full water filtration on all Unity models and easy access to our water pump. So lots of storage area in the bathroom. And speaking of storage, even a great place here for your towels, getting ready in the morning. And look at this hanging closet, wow. That is a hanging closet. We also store the optional front table there, hanging closet here, more storage in here. And look at this, pull out drawers, full drawer extension glides. You can see once again with soft clothes. This is a beautiful, big, dry bathroom. There are so many great features on the Unity MB. I could stay in here for days and tell you about them, but you know, big dry bathroom, nice big galley area, big pop-up TV, nice big living room area, and of course the big Murphy bed. It's got everything you could want for two people to go RVing anywhere in North America. Now what powers the Unity MB is the Sprinter, Mercedes-Benz chassis, 3500 series. Let me show you that right now. Okay, the Unity's always been powered by the Mercedes-Benz chassis. They upgraded their chassis a few years ago. We just wanna talk about some of the really cool features. So standard is our V6 engine, three liter, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. She rolls down the highway, seven speed automatic transmission, 170 inch wheelbase. So it is fun to drive. Electric power steering is one of the new features that they have. If you have never driven electric power steering, it's absolutely fantastic. Keyless start right here, runs right off the, uh, fob here, 10.25 inch monitor. Basically, it's just like an iPad. You can run the entire system. You also have a voice communications for uh, navigation as well. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Absolutely fantastic. We're good. Thank you very much. So uh, Sirius Radio now available as a subscription, AM, FM. Of course, we have air conditioning, power windows, power mirrors. One of the new features is we have power seats and they're heated as well. New climate control system, which is quite nice. And the really big one, of course, is the adaptive cruise control. A couple safety features that they've added, which are up in here, that triangle, we talked about that. You got front collision impact assist, lane keeping assist, traffic sign assist, braking assist, and they have side wind stabilization. So lots of great safety features on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. On the MBUX from Mercedes-Benz, we've got Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, streaming Bluetooth, and of course we can easily hook up our cell phones to it as well. On the navigation system, which you can voice command or you can manually enter your location, you get free upgrades on the navigation system for three years from Mercedes-Benz. Some other really cool features, lots of USB charging ports, plus you can also charge your phone right here. 
We also have great storage area above, little cubby holes all throughout, and lots of drink holders. They've got drink holders everywhere in the doors. We've got four up front. Got lights up here for your map lights. Just lots of great area, and it's big. Like, it feels really big. It's easy for me. I'm six foot one. Look at this. Easily stand up. I don't crush my head, and I can walk to the back of the motorhome. So let's talk about the steering wheel. A nice, beautiful leather wrap. we got tilt steering, telescopic steering. It's depending on how tall you are. By the way, I have a 34-inch inseam. I can... Uh, I have to move the seat forward to get to the accelerator and the brake. That's how much room you have. So if you're tall, you're going to absolutely love the Mercedes-Benz. So on the steering wheel controls, the left side controls everything here on the dash. The right side controls everything here on the right side of the motorhome. A couple other additional safety features. We have front airbags here, here, and also in the seats as well. Also, when you buy a leisure travel van, we give you two years of roadside assistance, which uh, for emergency fuel, lockout service. You also have a concierge service if you need service or repairs anywhere in Canada and the United States. And please make sure if you have a leisure travel van on order or you have one is to join my LTV. It's absolutely fantastic. We have walkthrough videos virtually on everything in the motorhome so you can see all the different things on how to run your leisure travel van plus we have different photo contests throughout the year and you can join a travelers club and you can get together with other leisure travel van customers so make sure you join my ltv wow that is one incredible interior the unity mb will never disappoint you so let's have a look at the outside of this motorhome. If you're looking for a small motorhome with lots of exterior storage, lots of great features, I can't wait to show it to you. Let's start right up here at the front area. We have a beautiful little courtesy light that turns on when you're getting in and out of the motorhome. And let's show you this awning. This is a power awning, legless awning. So you can turn, you can do that LED lights built right into the awning. You do a little disco. I like that. And then uh, just simply press the button and out it comes. So it comes out about 12 feet in length this way, and then the width comes out about seven feet. So nice big awning area, shady day, or a little bit of rain maybe. You wanna stay nice and dry underneath your awning. You can see how simple it is to bring the awning out. And like I mentioned earlier, it does have wind sensors. So in the event that we have a big gust of wind, look at that, it's gonna automatically go back in. Okay, nice little option that you can have on the uh, Unity is a little portable table, our little suitcase table. So it just uh, folds up kind of like a briefcase and you can unlock it. It's got adjustable legs. It's all made of aluminum powder coated. You can see this right here and it just locks in place right here, which is a great little area and you can adjust the legs depending on the uh, height that you want. And what's very nice about it is uh, over here, we've got a propane quick connect. So if you have a little gas barbecue, you can plug it in. If you have an electric grill, you can put it on this side and plug it in here and cook outside. You can also use it as a sitting area for having your, uh, your breakfast or your lunch or your supper. So now you've got your table with you all the time. And of course, when the awning comes out, it's a beautiful space just to kick back and relax. Okay, we're gonna work our way down the motor. You can see how we integrate the chassis into our body design. We've got our side fiberglass molded mass, makes it look fantastic. We work our way down, we've got our electric step. Right now we have it on camping mode, but you can simply take it off of camping mode and the step will automatically go back up. But don't panic, even if you have it on camping mode, and you uh, start the ignition, it's gonna automatically uh, go back up so you don't have to worry about it wrecking your step at all. Another nice little option is uh, keyless entry. So I can uh, lock the motorhome right off the key fob from Mercedes-Benz and I can unlock the motorhome right off the Mercedes-Benz key fob. So a nice little option to have there. So we work our way down, nice little lit handle here. We also got an LED light there, so lots of light. We got our awning style windows, which is very important. If it's raining out, you can have the windows open, get some ventilation into the motorhome, which is absolutely great. And they look great, they're sexy, frameless glass windows. You can see how perfect, how great they look. As we work our way down, we got a mentioned earlier electrical 110 plug here. And on this side, we got a nice little storage bin. So we've got a brand new lock on our Unities. We call it our switch key lock. So you can lock it, nobody can get in, unlock it. You can see how it fiberglass door. You can see how it's rounded on this side and it kind of seals up underneath, creates nice aerodynamics when you're going down the road. 
And look at this, double strutted. That way the door's not gonna hit you on the back of the head. This is all galvanized sheet metal. We actually spray foam it underneath so it's quieter when you're driving down the road. All lined, carpeted. Looks fantastic. Over on this side, we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Okay, as we work our way down this beautiful motor, and you can see how we got a slight curve in the wall. Nobody builds them like we do. This is vacuum bonded wall, roof, and floor. So what that means is we have two one-piece walls, one one-piece roof, and one one-piece floor. So the floor is boxed, tubular steel framed, the walls are boxed aluminum framed, and the roof is boxed aluminum framed, two pound density polystyrene, so you're insulated, you're super strong, and you're super quiet. Nobody builds the house like we build a house at Leisure Travel Vans. Let's look at this paint. This is full body paint. This isn't just the gel coat from the Vetrolite. It is full body paint. So each color is painted three times and then two coats of clear. And for 2022, we have eight exterior colors. This is Eurosport. We have brand new Atlantic blue, brand new shadow. We also have silver, graphite, champagne, white suede, and glacier. So eight different exterior colors that you can choose on your leisure travel van and make the motorhome exactly the way you want. Okay, up on that roof, that's a full fiberglass flex roof. So over on the far left-hand side, you can see our optional satellite dish. That's the WineGuard T4 satellite dish. It does dish, direct, or or bell. We also have optional solar panels. We've gone to a rigid solar panel for 2022. You can have 200 watts or 400 watts. We also have our 2.0 WineGuard Wi-Fi booster with 4G capability. It also does a TV antenna as well. The center core of the roof is almost five inches thick. Okay, as we work our way down, we have our vents for our uh, three-way fridge. Down here, we've got our standard steel rims from Mercedes-Benz with the simulators. We have a great option called Alcoa aluminum rims, and we go with six Alcoa aluminum rims. So inside, outside, plus the outer reels have the Durabrite finish, gives it a nice shine. Also, we spray foam underneath the wheel wells, and we spray foam all the tanks, once again, just to protect from damage from rocks. Okay, as we work our way down, fiberglass fender skirts, 16,000 BTU furnace. And right here we've got our optional generator. This one has the 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator. We also have an optional 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. If you order the propane generator, we have auto gen start on it, which means that you can set it by temperature in the motorhome to come on. If it gets too hot in the motorhome, you can set it by time. You can also set it for low voltage. So when you order the propane generator, you get auto gen start. Unfortunately, you do not get auto gen start when you order the diesel generator. Generator. You're also going to really like this feature. This is called an EPDM rubber hinge seal. That's how we move our doors up and down. You can see how beautifully they move up. Once again, they have struts on them. Look at that. That is actually really smart. So no piano hinges so that would rust over a period of time. Once again, nice big compartment storage. You can see the spray foam here. Really well done right here. Propane quick connect. So if you've got a little barbecue you want to take with you, you can hook it into your 15 gallon main propane tank on the motorhome. And remember we have that optional uh, table here you can actually put the the barbecue right on the table and and barbecue so really really well done see how the door locks in real tight so our main outside storage compartment is right here we're gonna open this up look at this we're gonna do some golfing a little bit later I like that you can see a nice big set of clubs fits in there no problem as a matter of fact Dean fits in here no problem look at this huh can still do it after uh, 12 years, no problem. But you can see how big that storage area is. Got an LED light as well. This is where your optional table will stay. And we got lots of storage areas in here. So nice big storage area. Okay, let's come around to the back of the motorhome. Once again, full molded fiberglass rear mask, fully insulated as well. I mean, it, it looks spectacular. LED lights on the marker lights, LED lights, tail lights, built-in backup camera runs off the Mercedes-Benz 10.25 inch monitor so you can see what you're gonna hit when you're backing up. And uh, down here we've got uh, 
our 5,000 pound receiver hitch, seven pin connector for towing. So uh, if you were to load up the uh, Unity MB to its maximum GVWR of 11,030 pounds, you would have a towing capability of about 4,220 pounds, just to give you a number. So the GCWR on the Mercedes-Benz chassis is 15,250 pounds. So if you fully load it up to 11,030 pounds, you can tow about 4,200 pounds. Uh, a couple of little things, we go separate rear mask. We have two piece mask here. So if somebody were to uh, back into something or somebody were to hit you here, you can just replace this rear bumper part. That's very smart. But I mean, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Once again, full body paint, each color painted three times, two coats of clear. Let's keep working our way around the motorhome over to the driver's side. Okay, let's talk about the outside service center right here. So we'll just give it a quick little lift up there. Well, once again, you can see how the EPDM rubber hinge moves up, double strut, so it's not gonna hit you on the head, which is very important on an outside service center. So let's talk about the macerator pump. Nice little option to have. Everything is already connected. You would just put this into your dump station and turn on the pump right here. And then you would be able to uh, dump your tanks. It'll actually dump uphill if I had to. And if you happen to have a little sewer at home, I happen to have one in my driveway, I could actually dump at home with a macerator pump. Standard is the three inch dump hose, which we always include, so don't ever panic. Um, nice option on the macerator pump as well. Propane fill, 15 gallon propane tank that gets filled up by a propane fill place. And when you're dumping your tanks, this is very important. Always dump the black first and then the gray, and that way it'll wash out the hose. This is a black water flush. And if you're gonna use your black water flush, make sure that you're in a dump station, open up the black valve, and then turn on the water to clean out the black tank. So make sure that you do it in that exact sequence. Over here, we got a satellite connection. So if you have a portable satellite dish, we're pre-wired to plug in. We actually pre-wire on the roof for a satellite dish as well, if you don't order the optional wine guard one. Uh, also cable connection. Some campgrounds have cable. You can plug in right there. This is your macerator switch, which we talked about. Propane turn off switch right there for turning off your propane when you're filling up the propane propane tank, certain ferries you have to have the propane off and certain tunnels you have to have the pr propane off as well. Right here is our water pump. So the water pump, what that does is um, if I forget to turn on the water pump inside the motorhome and I'm dry camping, I can turn on the water pump here and I can use my exterior shower. And this is a kind of a brand new exterior shower. Just got a quick connect here, just open this and plug it in. And now I've got hot and cold running water. Great if you have pets. For those of us that like to go fishing, we can actually clean the fish outside, which is kind of cool. And then this just snaps right off. And this is a pickup hose for uh, winterizing. If you want to grab some antifreeze, RV antifreeze, and run it through the system, you can using the water switch right there and the winterization valve. Or if you're dry camping and you need to get water into your freshwater tank, you can put a jug of water and suck that into your freshwater tank. So that's kind of cool right there. And when you want to hook up your drinking water, you would just run it up through here and plug it in there and that way you can close this as well and you've got our switch here for our water connection so you can fill up your tank or run it through the system if you're hooked up to shore water rv antifreeze bypass valve is right there so it's super convenient to have everything in one spot once again you can see how beautiful the Eurosport paint is the black and white kind of the nickname on our leisure enthusiast club they call it the orca i really like that awning style windows once again in the galley area looks fantastic and right here we've got our truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater the best hot water heater in the industry the reason for that is that we have a one liter reserve tank when you have it on Comfort Plus, it keeps that nice and warm. So when you turn on a valve to either the kitchen, the bathroom, or in the shower, you have instant hot water. And as it uses that one liter of hot water, the heat exchangers are continuously heating and you have consistent, unlimited hot water. And here's your shore power connection. Right now we're plugged into a 30 amp service. You can see the little blue light comes on. I don't know if you can see that or not. That means that I'm live with power. We actually have a really cool standard feature. It's called a surge protector. It'll protect any bad current from coming into the motorhome and damaging anything. Okay, so this is kind of a cool area. You can see how we've hidden the slide out. It's kind of hidden into the motorhome. Can't even tell we've got a slide out here. Landscape window. Once again, awning style opens up. We've got a beautiful slide topper awning, but let's show you how beautiful this slide out comes in in and out. Hey, let's talk about the slide out once again. Vacuum bonded walls, vacuum bonded steel frame floor, vacuum bonded a roof. You can see the slide topper on it that protects any debris, bird droppings from going back into the motorhome. And you can see we run double track on it. So it's a, it's a 12 volt slide out. We double track it. So top track, bottom track, come on over to this side. Top track, 
bottom track. That's very important to have four tracks. That way the slide out's always going in nice and square. Plus you can see how we build this slide out. I mean, just for fun, count how many screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29, 30 screws. Screw the slide out box together. That's more than anybody else and it's probably double. So absolutely fantastic. I really also like this. So we have a seal here. We have a bulb seal here and a sweeper seal. So three seals when the slide out comes in, it's nice and tight. You don't have to worry about any water getting into the motorhome. For anybody that has a slide out where you have to go underneath to get to the storage, uh, it's no fun. Look at this. It comes out with the slide out. We have our sewer hose, we mount it right there. So you can see lots of storage, once again, strutted, not gonna fall and hit me on the head. Galvanized sheet metal, spray foamed, all lined. I mean, absolutely super easy to get stuff out of the motorhome. I don't have to go underneath the slide out to get to the interior storage. As you work our way to the driver's door, you can see we got a nice little courtesy light for getting in and out, and also the mirrors fold in. They're all power heated mirrors, in case you're in a tight spot. All the Unity motorhomes run on the Sprinter Mercedes-Benz diesel engine so this is your where you fill up your diesel fuel so you'd fill it up right and then have the door closed no fumes can come in boom close it it actually serves as a lock nobody can tamper with your diesel fuel let's keep working our way around we got our beautiful integrated side mass look fantastic once again vacuum bonded walls roof and floor on the slide out all of our unity motorhomes are, are powered by the mercedes-benz sprinter cutaway chassis 3500 series 11,030 pound gvwr uh, diesel engine three liter v6 has 188 horsepower 325 foot pounds of torque seven speed automatic transmission we've got our beautiful high intensity led lights fog lights we we have uh, windshield, automatic windshield rain sensors and windshield wiper as well. So very, very beautiful, very sleek. I mean, I like this little feature here for cleaning your windshield right here. You go cleaning it up here. So a combination of leisure travel vans and Mercedes Benz. It is such a unique look. There's nothing like it on the road today. Hey, thank you very much for watching the 2022 Unity MB. This is one beautiful motorhome. If you've never seen the MB in person, you got to go to your local leisure travel van dealer and see one. It is still the king of the B plus motorhome. Only 25 feet, one inches long, seven feet, 10 wide, and just about 10, seven high. I mean, you can have everything you could want. Huge bed huge bathroom, big pop-up TV. This one has the optional Leisure Lounge Plus chairs, so big recliner. So big is the keyword. We're super big, but we're actually super small. So go and see your local Leisure Travel Van dealer and see one in person. Once again, thank you very much for watching our videos. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell a few times, we really appreciate it. And I'm gonna go down, there's a beautiful lake down there. It's uh, Lake Winnipeg. We're gonna go for a little walk through the bush. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. configure your leisure travel van today. We have build in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.